Welcome to Workers and Resources Campaign Mode Season 2. My name is Flaming Cacti, and today we're going to be playing the Soviet Revolution Campaign. In this campaign, we're going to, instead of having a blank slate, we're going to have existing villages and towns and cities like such. This is, this is the most populated one on the map, and this will be our capital. And what we'll have to do is we'll have to start providing services to these, such as electricity, water, sewer. These are new things that have not been in the previous campaign, but are such things that have been in the game for quite some time. So, without further ado, let's get started. Alright, the flavor text says, Greetings, I am Nikolai Mikhailow, your sec your loyal second secretary of the Communist Party. Together, we have witnessed the greed of the West. They came with promises, built roads and railways, but their true intentions became clear. They were here for our resources, not for our people. But the winds of change have blown. Our people, seeing through their greed, have spoken out in the last elections. We, the leaders of the Communist Party, are now their chosen representatives. As the first secretary, the weight of our great nation's future rests on your shoulders. Together, we shall build a republic that puts its people first. Welcome to the dawn of a new era. Excellent. Glad to get started. So, uh, first, it's going to be talking about that we have to do the very basics, right? The, the lay, laying the foundation. Now, what do they mean by such a foundation? They mean electricity, initially. But let's see. Uh, look here, comrade. Uh, most populated city remains close to the borders. Prime candidate for our capital. Over here, we got some smaller villages, for example. There's plenty around the map. We could actually look all around the map and see and see all the different small villages. There's actually a lot going on on this map. We'll, we'll, we'll take a look at that shortly. Alright, so... As we turn our focus back to the future capital city, first order business is clear, we need to establish a reliable electric supply. Powering our city is the, is the foundation for all future endeavors. Uh, connecting to a foreign power grid at the border offers us options. While building our own power plants can be a challenging endeavor, purchasing electricity from outside is the quickest way to light up our capital. Alright, so we can build a power network from the border. So from the foreign power connection, we can hook up some high voltage wires, going to a transformer, going to medium voltage wires, going to an electric substation. It's all very hierarchical and it makes a lot of sense if you think about it. So let's take a look. If you go to the electricity tab, select your high voltage wires and they come with different capacities. Let's go ahead and select our largest ones just in case. And I do have the game paused right now because we don't want to be building these right away. We want to uh, make sure that we're going to put these down right, but they're really not all that expensive, so that's good. Let's go ahead and do this. Bring it down the mountain next to the road. Something sort of like that should do. And uh, let's actually hop over to the other side of the highway, something like that. We'll give ourselves a little bit of room off the side of the road. All right, and auto save right about there will do. Just follow the bend. You can get longer distances between them if you uh, if instead of just clicking and dragging, you do it one at a time, you can you can inch out a few extra feet from them. All right, so we're going to bring them down. I don't know, maybe we'll actually carry this all the way through. We're going to go too far, and I'm going to show you why I'm doing it in a moment. But we're not going to go too excessively far. Yeah, we'll, we'll stop there for sure. That's unnecessary, but it will serve a purpose later on, so it's nice to reserve the space. All right, let's select our high-voltage switch, and we want to... Let's uh, have our power connection break off here. So let's see, we can do something kind of like that. And then we'll take a mud road. Actually, I'm going to get rid of the power lines and we're going to redo them a little bit. Essentially, we're going to go into there for the corner. And this is more aesthetics than anything, but you know, it has to be functional. All right, so mud road. Yeah, that, that works. 
then from there, let's put down a electrical substation, or not substation, but a transformer on the other side of the road. I think I'd like to do something like that. And it's connected up with the mud road. There's really no need to have anything nicer. Maybe I'll make that a smidge shorter. Yeah, there we go. Now we'll take our high voltage wires, connect it. And now we can take some medium voltage lines going off of there and connect it up with our town. We should only need two substations for this entire town. So we should be able to put one on the east side and on the west side. And the two of them together should have coverage for all the different ta or the, all the different houses in the village. So let's put two of them down. Put down the first one, maybe somewhere around here. Yeah. And we'll put down the other one. Maybe we can nestle it in here somewhere. Maybe uh, there will work good, right? Yeah. Put one right there. Medium voltage wires. These two come with different capacities. Uh, try to select the biggest one whenever you can, just because it's probably what you'll end up needing. You can also do underground, but they have a lower maximum. All right, medium voltage wires. I'm going to try to stay out of our way as much as I can. Yeah, we'll do that. And we'll cancel the last bit of wires because what I want to do instead is I want to connect into the second from the top one because the bottom one I intend on connecting with the other set. There we go. So let's let the game tick on and we'll let all that build. Oh, there is one more thing we have to do though. And that is we have to come over to where the foreign power connection is. And we can authorize some purchasing of power. These guys should be electrified. They are. Oh, oh, where'd that go? I accidentally hit the escape key just as soon as it came up. Let's see. So I guess now it's talking about building a water well, which doesn't require any workers. Boost the pressure in the pipelines using a water pump, ensuring consistent flow, and place water substations near residential areas to distribute the water effectively to our citizens' homes. And when placing the water well, ensure it's situated in a clean, natural area away from pollution or buildings. And you want to maintain the water quality above 97%, and if there's any concerns about water quality, consider adding a water treatment plant to ensure purity of supplied water. We need to build a water treatment complex, essentially. Yeah, let's build our water facility over over here maybe across the street from these guys yeah that'll be good and although they say that the small water well will be able to do and that's true it will make plenty of water we can get a large water well instead which will only take seven workers and they can walk to it and it'll make a lot more water and then we can uh, use the water for other places as well you can see uh, plenty of people are going to be able to work to it or walk to it for work so i'm sure someone will we could even put the water well right there that's not bad i think i'll uh, i think i'll do that all right so now we need if we do a water treatment small then we can make 120 cubic meters of water a day and if we do a water treatment big then we can do 300 cubic meters of water a day so maybe we'll do the water treatment big and we'll place it down like such. That'll be a good spot. Maybe we can extend our mud road a bit further and tee it in. All right, so if we take a water pipe, I think we can go one-to-one -one on it, unless it requires a pump in between. I guess if it does, we'll find out. Let's actually use the underground view for this. Big water pipe, there to there. And there to there. I don't know if this is necessary, but we're going to do it anyways. Now we need to do something with the water coming out of it. So let's get a, a water pumping station. We'll get a large one. Something that can handle all three. We'll put it... Let's put it there. We'll once again connect that up with a bunch of pipes. There we go. That'll work good. And I know for sure that will be plenty of water that we can tap out of that. So from there... Let's put it into either a water tower or an underground reservoir. The underground reservoir is going to be larger, but I believe the water tower helps with pressure. And I think I would rather put in a water tower. 
at a, honestly at a minimum just for aesthetics. I think we can get it in right there. And that'll be a nice spot to put it. Yeah, right there. We'll connect this up to the middle. Just in case we need to access it from either direction. Coming off that water tower, we have two outputs. And I believe that we'll end up needing two water substations, one for each side of town. So let's connect one output with one water station and the other output with the other water station. And that should be enough. Now, where do we want to put this? We'll put it right there. And where will we put the other one? Maybe near the electrical substation? Sounds good. Let's do that. And now let's lay the pipe. I feel like we can shorten that pipe some. Yeah, let's do that instead. And we'll no need for these big swooping arcs when we can just go point to point. There we go. And that should be rather efficient. Uh, pipes are expensive to lay. I guess let those build. Yeah. And hopefully that should be a working water sup. The only snafu I can foresee is if it wants a pump between the well and the water treatment. Does this work? You're exporting water? Um, no. So you do want a pump. Let's put a pump in. So we'll have to get rid of that plumbing. And we'll need a water pumping station. We'll put ours right there. And we'll connect it with two pipes. I believe that's plenty. I wish those weren't crisscrossed. Okay. That is plenty good. Leave it alone. Just build it. Just build it. Stop playing with it. <laughs> All right. So now it's working. Excellent. And you're processing 160, 150 cubic meters a day. Everyone has water. All right. So set the functional sewage system for a thousand households. Similar idea, but with sewage instead. And what we can do with sewage is a lot easier. We can just put it into the rivers. That works, right? Yeah. Let's, uh, let's do it over here. If you have trouble trying to get it down, it might help to have flat land. What you can do is you can get your level terrain tool and just uh, try to make a little even, evenly lined coast for yourself. Now put back down your sewage discharge. Oh, come on. Wait, you, you don't like it? I'm gonna make it slightly taller then. There we go, that works. We need to put down some sewage tanks around town, similar idea to the uh, to the water substation, except this is for sewage. Sure, I guess we can put it there. That'll that'll work, I suppose. And we also need another one on the other side of town. And with sewage pipe, it needs to be flowing downhill. You'll know it's not flowing downhill if it tells you it's not flowing downhill. All right, so let's connect these. Oh my goodness. All right, so we have two sewage tanks hooked up with large pipes to a sewage outflow. That should be more than enough. So let's go ahead and unpause and see if that works. That should be working. Oh, it has to uh, build first, I suppose. They are uh, quite expensive. Is it working? I feel like this should be working. I guess it's starting to. The number's going up. Might just take a minute, possibly. There we go. Now we need to put down some monuments. All right, let's do it. That's going to help with uh, with loyalty to make sure that we keep the loyalty of our citizens up. And they have different percentages uh, that are different government loyalty influence percentages and different radiuses. So, for example, the Lenin Concrete Monument does plus 4.5 percent, which is pretty high, but only 90 meters, which is pretty uh, limited. So let's do uh, let's do some Soviet emblems. We'll put one down right as you come into town. First thing you see if it lets us put one there do one there if you're coming in from town from the opposite direction let's make sure that's connected with a footpath I guess it doesn't want to connect 
There we go. And we need three more. Let's go ahead and put down some linens, maybe. And then maybe one more. Yeah, that works. All right, any more? No, that, that should be plenty. Let's build that. All right, now we need to put down some shops. They suggest putting down a grocery store. Now, we don't just have to put down a grocery store. We could also put down a shopping center as well if we wanted to and provide our people not just with food, but also with electronics. And that will increase their happiness, which has a positive effect on their loyalty. So let's uh, let's bulldoze the central village square area, because uh, who, who needs that when you can have electronics? Yeah. There goes the power. <laughs> All right. Let's put down a gravel road. Or we'll put down one there for now, but we might change that. And let's see. The residential areas. You can do a grocery store, a small sh or a small shopping center. They come in different sizes as well. One thing I do want to ensure is that these two paths remain connected. Kind of random, but I feel like that's a good place. All right, small shopping center. Maybe we can back it right up to the wall there. Let's put it there and see if we can't fit in a path through there. We can, that's good. And even for the path going through there, all right, let's get our gravel road in. Instead of putting the gravel road there, let's put the, let's take out that power line, fix the road we broke, and put our gravel road right there. Now, I know we're also gonna need buses soon. Like next episode, we're gonna need people on buses. So let's also put in our bus platform here as well. We'll put our bus platform there. Nothing too large, nothing too small. Let's fill it in with the remainder of our paths. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work fine. Maybe we can even put in another uh, monument there. Perfect spacing. Wonderful. All right, let's let that build now that we have a shop and a bus station. Excellent. And can everyone walk to that? Yes, everyone can. So I suppose people just need to start buying food there in order for us to notice and complete the mission? Probably. When we start to use vehicles, we'll need a fuel station so our vehicles can refuel. So we need to build a, a, a petrol station. I need to reconnect my power line. Yeah, that works. We'll do that. All right, power station. Or not power, we need gas station. We got several different ones. So let's just do the uh, the old school one. And we'll put him, uh, let's see, put him over here. I don't think he'll be very critical to have right on the main road. I mean, it could be useful, though, to have him, like, right there. Ah, right here will be plenty fine. Right there. Beautiful. We'll let that build in. I think I'll also put in a uh, bus end station. Yeah. That works. And you know what? We'll even upgrade that road to asphalt. I feel like it kind of is mismatching. Yeah, there we go. Progress. Uh, I've, I put the bus end station in there because I know I'm going to need a bus end station at some point soon. And we can have them go into the end station before going to the bus station to spread themselves out. And they'll also refuel there, so it's a win-win. We have finished the first mission, it sounds like. Excellent. We have finished the initial mission of founding a capital city. Up next, we can do construction, perfecting healthcare, pursuing black gold, education, or energy independence. Uh, so we're probably going to end up going after construction next. And I know from experience, this being my third time trying to record this series, trying to get it right. Um, but I know from experience <laughs> that the construction mission is... That the, that the very first task in it is going to be to produce a bunch of gravel, a bunch of boards, and a bunch of bricks. And that's like setting up three industries, and I... We're going we're gonna to take a slower pace this series, is what I'm trying to say. And we might not do one mission per episode, necessarily. 
but we'll get there. We'll do whatever we can fit in an episode per episode, trying to phrase it into bite-sized chunks. Well, that being said, I'd say we finished the first episode. We finished the first mission, and I'm liking the way this is coming out. This is looking pretty good, and I'm feeling a lot better about this this recording than the others. So I'm happy to say that. Thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the Season 2 premiere of Workers and Resources, Soviet Republic, Campaign Mode, Soviet Revolution, and my name is Flaming Cacti. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it, and I hope that you'll watch Episode 2. Thank you. Have a good one.